coming to a place now in the body of Christ that people are ready to see the prophecy fulfilled. Now, maybe I'm not preaching to everybody tonight, but we'll, but we'll get to you. But, but how long are we going to do it this way to the point that when you look at it, it's almost becoming monotonous where everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Amen. My own self. Everybody's kind of doing the same thing. And so the, the, our churches are looking alike. Our churches are sounding alike. And you know, and it's the and it's the choir. And, and, and then it's the praise team. And then and then it's the announcements. And, 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 and then it's the preacher. And then every week we come back to church and we're doing the same thing. And thank you for an amen, sister. You may be the only one. But see, there's coming something called people are now started, and you can feel the boredom in the kingdom of God because we we can only shout for so long and we can only speak in tongues for so long and we can only run around the church for so long and we can only cover up each other for so long and I don't care if you don't say amen but if you heard one message okay cause see a lot of what I'm saying right now you've even heard this before thank you Jesus and so now we are becoming high on each other. And so now it becomes who's the greatest in the kingdom and who's got the spot in the kingdom and who's the next big hit in the kingdom. And now we're turning the church into a circle and we're not really accomplishing what God has called us to accomplish. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is going to be harder than I thought. And, 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 see, and see, the reason why, Pastor Sapp, I have to talk like this is because the same people that we've been preaching to saying, oh, hold on and do it and God going to fix it and get yourself together. Now, there's been a switch and the people that's in the pews that got they set together and the people in the pulpit is playing games. And so now, you can't keep telling people about being saved. We for the people of God because everybody ain't fornicating oh. everybody ain't cheating everybody ain't lying there are some people that are in this building that have made up in their mind that they're going all the way with God and we cannot keep coming to the body of Christ preaching baby messages and babysitting the people of God if you don't want God get out of the church but the church has got to get up I'm preaching too hard already. I'm preaching. I'm preaching too hard already. I'm preaching too hard already. Because we ain't going nowhere. We're getting bigger, but we ain't going nowhere. Good God have mercy. We got 10,000 and now, and now we brag about how many people we got. Oh, I got 15,000. I got 20,000. I got 7,000. But we're not moving. We're collecting bodies in the seats. And now, oh my God, slavery has now hit the church. So, see, I know y'all got a time frame on the building, so I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to hurry up and say this. I'm going to hurry up and say this. And so now we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not really giving, we're not really giving knowledge and we're not, and we're not really giving educational information. What we're doing is teaching people how to fly in the spirit. Oh, the spirit did it. Oh, I'm waiting on God. Oh, the Lord are doing. Oh, touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor in three days I'm coming out. Well, let me tell you something. You're not coming out because the church is trying to hide behind spirituality when God is saying, I'm giving you power. Now you got to get rid because if you don't get wisdom you're going to keep on having church and to the world you are a joke can I ask you something can I really ask you something can I ask you something? Why is our greatest accomplishment building a church? Okay, I'm not. I'm, so I'm gonna come on this side because they ain't gonna get none over there. What is our greatest accomplishment building a church and a new church building?
struggling. When the Bible says that the final mantle for the kingdom of God is to go into all the world. I'm not going to hear y'all preach back to me, but it's okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We ain't going to get away with it like that. Because our mouth been too big about the world need to be saved. The world ain't stunting us. And the world ain't stunting us because we have a whole lot of church, but we ain't got nothing. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing you. Listen, listen, listen. You ain't getting ready to bring nobody from the secular world to Jesus because the church is too broke. And the reason why is because we in here trying to get rich off of each other. But the wealth is not in the church. The Bible said that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. But I'm going to tell you what. You already got a church. You better start building schools. You better start building hospitals. You better start. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. You you, you listen. You're building drive. Listen. We already got enough churches. We don't have enough buildings. We don't have enough executive buildings. We don't have enough company. Where is the FedEx in the church? Where is the UPS? Where is the people that own banks? Where y'all looking at me like I have lost my mind? He, just like we have Bible study. We only have one night a week where we get financial direction and it's mandatory that every member show up to get your finances in order who am I talking about we ought to be concerned about the person and they welfare that's why the church don't represent Christ we don't pay our bills we are late oh God we, don't, we get our lights turned off we get our gas turned off we get our telephones turned off and the biggest testimony you got is God caught me up on my rent that wasn't a miracle And so we preach a weak gospel because we ain't hardly got nobody living right. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And so the church has spent all of her time cleaning up the church. Y'all live right. Y'all get saved. Y'all live right. Put that down. Don't touch that. I'm um, Listen, I got a new statement for you. Touch it if you want to. Go ahead and do it because I'm headed to destiny. I'm tired of sitting in church, not accomplishing nothing. How long we going to shout? How long we going to speak in tongues? So, so, so then if I give you a code and I said this is the way of righteousness that ain't no God help me be righteous that's you making a decision to keep the code now if you keep the code then it makes God responsible to keep you from falling oh. see what I just did is hit every backsliding devil right there every, every devil that said I, oops I slipped again oops I made a mistake no the Bible said that, that that sin don't start with a oops baby it start with a thought and when the thought is conceived and you let it stay there to mature it turns into sin who am I preaching to right there see when the Bible said in all of that getting get understanding getting wisdom it says with understanding I come out of sin so now I know that we jumping and shouting but we don't understand Ooh, the power of God just fell on me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> the reason why I know that it ain't a feeling because everybody feeling it. Everybody feeling it. Sinners are feeling it. We let people come to our churches and they not say and they walk out and tell us I enjoyed your service. That's not a compliment. What they're saying is there wasn't enough power to hit my belly to change me. And I got to be the one to tell you. And we made you believe that you got to feel saved and feel God and feel the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost is a responsibility, watch this, it's a responsibility to tap another ram. And if you haven't done anything supernatural since you got baptized, you ain't got it.
I'm not going to bite my tongue about that. Now, see, I'm not getting away. I'll walk all over this building. I'm not. Listen, I don't care if you don't say it, man. I'm going to tell you one more time. Because what I'm sick of is people say, I can't make it. And you don't know what I'm going through. And you don't know what I'm going through. And you don't know. You know what? It's time to shut up and come on through. If you're going through, come on through. Because you're the one who said you got the Holy Ghost. You're the one who told people you got power. And you can't make a headache leave. Who am I preaching to? You ain't got to say amen. I'm coming all the way back here. If you got the Holy Ghost, but do something. If you got the Holy Ghost, make the devil behave. If you got the Holy Ghost, stop sinning. If you got the Holy Ghost, live right. Pay your bills on time. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Glory, hallelujah. I said, glory, hallelujah. I said, glory, hallelujah. I said, glory, hallelujah. When Jesus started his ministry, he took people with him. 